here guys. That's another one. Oh, this is all done. Those people guys, all these holes, all these clams, hundreds of clams are being dug right now. I haven't found one yet, but I just got here. Look at all these people, freaking beautiful. The tide is still going down. So let's go guys, let's find some clams. All right guys, so here, not bad. It's a small one. Not bad at all. So, I just saw my other videos. That's why I said my other ones were huge, and these ones are smaller. But when you dig them, you have to keep them. This is couch, they're one of your limits. But out here, I guess they're pretty small to where I go to my area. So this is my first time out here on this beach. But hopefully, we can go and find some bigger ones, guys. Let's go. Water, so you can see them. <gasps> wow, oh, almost cut myself. There you go, guys. Now, that finally got a big one. Look at that. And then you go like this, between it, you'll bring up the. Let's see, you just tickle it, and it comes out the neck. Alright, let's keep going guys. I felt it. I got him. Oh my god. Yeah. Got him. Oh man. Look at that guys. Another one. I think he's slicey. I don't know. You gotta be careful with these guys when you dig them though. With your bare hands. Just wash my hands real quick. That's a nice guys we just got to the car i didn't get our full limit but we still had a great time so i'm gonna change and then we're gonna go find a spot to cook hopefully there's a park around here that we can turn on the grass gas grill and stuff and clean these bad boys up the video the last part i got some big ones so i'm super excited but we're gonna do some cooking so stay tuned don't leave i'm gonna get changed up and then we'll go find a spot to cook Hey guys, so we tried to do a catch and cook at the beach. It was too windy and it was raining over there and the wind was just too much for the propane to keep burning up the, the um, flames. So right now we're home. I will clean them. I'll show you how I clean them in this video and stuff. I know you guys been asking about my other videos, how I clean them. So I'll show all the process and stuff. But for all you do is put in the hot water like that and they will come out the shell, watch. See it popped up? It's really fast blanched, just all you have to do. 
all you gotta do guys is a quick lay on sheet it pops super easy and quick guys so what i do guys is once i take it off on the shell i always clip off the the um, mouth part right here you don't want to eat that the dirt part you see when i cut it you can see the dirt sand in there there's two holes there's one hole and another hole so i'll show you how to get to those so the zipper part i'll just cut it up the zipper so that opens up the butterflies it up and then you want to go to the neck this the first tube is the first neck how dirty that is and then you want to go to the second tube it's right under that you can see it right here see that that's the opening right there put it in cut it that's the second opening of the second neck then you just rinse it and then like in all my videos when i make these cookies I like to do in two parts. So I rip, I'll take this part off and I'll take the digger, this is considered the digger, out like that. And this is my favorite part to eat. So this is all like guts and stuff you don't want to eat. You cut by the black part like this, flip it over by the black part. Then you want to take that out like that there and then you want a butterfly like this all the way up so now you can go inside and clean out all that vein and guts and stuff let me open turn it on show you some people like to get rid of all of it i don't because i really enjoy the buttery part which is um, all this white stuff. That's my favorite part. There. So all you have to do is all nice and clean, guys. See that? And this is one piece. One piece. And here's the second piece. Um, you can eat the gills. It's fine to eat. You want to throw that away, though. All that nastiness. And then I'm going to clean it a second time. But this part is to show you guys how to properly clean this. And when you boil it, there's an extra skin membrane here so when you boil it, it comes off easily if you don't boil it it'll be hard to pull off but yeah guys so i'm gonna clean all of these really quick and then we'll come back finished product guys this is what it looks like nice and clean tons of meat like in all my videos guys this is my favorite part the digger super delicious very buttery this is my favorite favorite i don't mind eating these ones either this is okay it's kind of chewy but don't overcook it when you overcook it it becomes rubbery so you don't want to do that so how we're gonna cook it today is we're gonna do it like a probably like 50 50 so medium rare medium well cooked so look at this beautiful tons of meat guys but let's get cooking so for this dish we can do a ceviche style there's the razor clams and then we put lemongrass and thai chili just to uh, flavor up the boiling water so it puts some flavor into the razor clams so what I'm going to do is put all the razor clam into this wok and then we're going to let it blanch in there. Not too long because we don't want to overcook the razor clams there. And then get some debris out. Usually this part is done right here. So I'm going to take out all the quick part that, that doesn't take long to cook. Then the other part takes a little longer, so I'm gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. There, so this, there. And then this, I'm gonna leave a little bit longer because that's the butter part. And they take a little bit longer to cook versus the other part of the, the, um, the mouth or the neck. Okay, now it's done. There. So around like less than a minute guys. Okay. Here's the quick blanch of the razor clams. Here's the ingredients we're gonna use today for the ceviche. Um, these are cherry tomatoes, mango, green onions. This is called sawtooth um, cilantro. Then we got some lettuce, some scallions, garlic, and then jalapeno and here's 
this amazing sauce my friend made for me. She did a really good job. I'm not sure what she put in there. I have to ask her. So if you guys want to know, comment below and I'll let you guys know once I ask her if anybody wants to know. But this sauce is freaking amazing. It makes this dish just phenomenal. And then we're going to play it on top of all these herbs right here. It's got, I'm not sure what the English term for this herb is, but a lot of Asian people love to eat this. And um, we got mint and cilantro. I chopped this up into bite sizes. Here it is, guys. So I can easily make it into a salad ceviche. But man, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. So I have my friend mix it really quick. This is actually her recipe. And I'm excited to see how she's gonna do it. Sort of like an Asian ceviche with razor clams. And it's gonna look beautiful with all these different colors in it and all the different flavor and texture. Oh my gosh, I'm already salivating thinking about it. <laughs> that looks good already. I tried a piece of the raisin clam. It's really sweet and nice, tender. It's not chewy at all because we didn't overcook it. Because like I said earlier, if you overcook these raisin clams, they will become rubbery. Here just comes this amazing sauce. Oh man, look at that. Mm -mm. It's spicy, sweet, salty, just every single flavor. Just nice burst of Asian flavor in your mouth. Oh, that looks phenomenal, guys. Wow. Golly. I wish you guys can be right here to see and smell it. It smells so good. The aroma is giving off right now. Woo! And then she's gonna add some scallions and some of that sawtooth cilantro. Oh my. And then we added some raw onion, I mean not raw onions, raw garlic. Oh. This is like super healthy too. So if you guys into like healthy food and stuff, this is one of the best. Look at that. She wants me to do a quick taste test of what I think. So I'm gonna grab a piece of the razor clam right there. Right there, guys. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Wow, I've got to try some of that mango. Mm. Out of this world. Wow. So good. Mm. So now we're going to plate it up on top of all these nice fresh herbs in my backyard. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Mmm. This looks so good. This is the best part, guys. You get all that hard work of today's harvest and foraging. Then you dish up a beautiful, delicious, flavorful dish to eat for dinner. And usually we always eat this kind of dish and stuff, always with rice, because rice does enhance the flavor of the food a lot more. Oh my gosh, I'm already salivating, because that first bite was delicious. Mm -mm. There, that looks beautiful. Yummy. Look at that, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is all done. This is considered as the Asian ceviche. Thank you to my good friend. She did a great job. Let's get some rice really quick. Right there. And then let's dig in guys. Let's get some brazy clam with some mango and then some um, tomato and some rice. Let's take a big old bite. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Get some herbs. Oh, that's spicy. I can taste the 
a burst of the spiciness from the sauce that she made. Mmm. That's amazing. Got full of flavor. All of this dish is all fresh. See, here's the pepper. That's why that was so spicy. Then we got raw garlic. Let's take another bite really quick. I like it with um the herbs. The herbs is really good. And the mango. The switch. All right. Mmm. Superb. Super delicious. Everything on here is fresh. The ridge clam was from today. This morning. Fresh catch. Super fresh and delicious. Let me finish my bite real quick. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to put on the notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on my next Kitchen Cook. Later.